Hey guys, welcome to my Etsy channel. This is Nancy from nancybadija.com and welcome to another Etsy video. On today's video, we're going to talk about, well, I'm going to show you seven types of Etsy product photography samples. And the reason why I wanted to do this video today is because as an Etsy seller, you know that photos of your products are either going to make a sale or not make a sale. So before we get started on this tutorial, if this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. I upload weekly videos on Etsy, social media, branding, and much more. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button today. So let's go ahead and get started. So last week or maybe two weeks ago, I did a video on product presentation, the power of product presentation. And I will link it to this video as well for you guys. And the reason I want to kind of bring that up again is because the way that you market and present your products to people is very, very important. Um, a great photo or a bad photo could prevent you from getting a sale, even if your product is amazing, because the photo is what sells the product technically. And when you are on an e-commerce platform like Etsy, your photos can't be decent. They can't just be okay. They have to be amazing. You have to practice, practice, practice. And don't feel like you're the only person that might not be able to take the most amazing photos because I was there in one place in one time and I'm also still continuing to learn how to take um, photos for my own products. So it doesn't come natural to me either. But with practice and in the course of the last three years, I've been able to improve. And I think that if I was to go back my first year on XE and really be honest with you guys, my photos were horrible. And that's because I didn't have a creative eye. I didn't know how to use like Canva or even like Photoshop. I, did, I didn't know how to product how to create a, like a marketing strategy for my products, what colors went well, branding colors. I didn't have nothing in place. And this took time for me to learn. And it's going to take time to learn anything new that you have never done before. It's going to take time to learn. So don't feel overwhelmed. The purpose of this tutorial is to kind of show you seven different styles of product photography that you could do right now in your own Etsy listings. A lot of times when I do Etsy shot critiques, the buyer might have like one or two photos and they're like, I don't know what other photos I could take. So this is to kind of give you an idea of seven different types of photos that you could take to kind of get your product shown in different aspects of it. And hopefully by adding more additional photos as well, it's going to help you increase your sales. But just keep in mind that the overall um, message is that your photos have to be amazing. So it's not just slapping, you know, seven photos and saying, well, I have a lot of photos. Hopefully I will get the sale. It's adding seven photos or up to 10 if you can, but making sure that every photo is beautiful, amazing, shows off your product in a complimentary way, that you have it cropped correctly, and that you're showcasing them. When people are seeing your product, they know exactly what they're buying at the moment that they're looking at it. There's no confusion. There's no you know, um, distraction in the background and it's simple and easy to understand what exactly they're looking at. So let's go ahead and get started. Number one is your typical studio shot. And this is like your product on a plain background with plenty of light. So you could do it. Some people do it on a cardboard, like a white cardboard. Some people do it in natural light outside and they take the white cardboard outside. Or some people have light boxes and they put their products in there. But this is the standard one. This is the one I particularly like the best because it shows off the product. There's no distraction. There's no props. And it's the best way, in my opinion, to showcase, especially if you're in the jewelry industry or even in clothing um, or just in general, in my opinion, it's the best way a minimalist, nice, clean look. So this is um, Studio Shot. is the most common one that you will see on Etsy. Lifestyle Shot. So a lifestyle shot is going to 
the, the goal of this type of picture is to show the product being used or worn or, or in a wall or something. It's just to show how it would look in their lives. So by doing it this way, and it helps people imagine what, how they would use your product, basically. So this is from an uh, Etsy shop called Bash House, and they, you, they sell these beautiful hats. And so as you can see, those type of hats are usually worn during vacation. So this is a great photo that they did of a woman in a vacation where her hat is beautiful outside, it's warm weather. So it's just showcasing the product in an environment. It really helps customer visualize. There's a lot of people that need to see the product on or they need to see the product, like the dress on someone to kind of see if they will like it on their own bodies, etc. So having a lifestyle shot is really, really cool. You could do it on pretty much anything. You could do it on wall art. You could do it on jewelry. You could do it on clothing. So you pretty much could do one of these photos and they actually illustrate or showcase how their how your product could be used. Number three is a scale shot. And a scale shot is basically um, showing the customer how your product is, visual, is visually next to other things. This is a, a great way for customers to get an, an idea of the size of your product. So this is a great photo by Modern Memory Art. And their um, artwork, as you can see, is on top of a couch. So it kind of gives you an idea of, the sp of how big the artwork is. You could do this with earrings and having them on somebody's ear. You could do, sometimes people put like a picture and they'll put like a, like a phone or they'll put like a quarter next to it just so you could have an idea of the size. And this usually communicates how big your product is. And it's a great way because a lot of people might see something and be like, I wonder what size that is or how that would look in my house or on me or, you know, um, how big that stone is on the ring. And if you put it on and you take a picture with it on, um, it showcases the product a lot better. So this is another great way to showcase your products. Number four is a detail shot. And a detail shot is basically just a close-up of your actual product in different angles. You could feature in different angles to showcase what you're selling. So this is a great picture from Mod Party. And they're showcasing their product and, and they're doing it sideways. It's like a tumbler that they're selling. And you can see like the top is silver and how it looks. So just having your product in different angles, in different photos, is a great, great way to showcase items. Um, so if you have earrings, maybe, sh you know, taking a picture from the back end of it, maybe taking a picture from the side of it so they could see the details and, and making sure it's zoomed in so they could see the value of what you're selling. Because if they don't see value of what you're selling, they're not going to want to buy from you. So number four, detail shot. Number five is a group shot. So a group shot is it's a great way to showcase items that come in more than two. So if you sell like this store, um, if you sell like a set of three art walls prints, then this is a great way to showcase it. If you sell, let's say you sell um, the handmade cookies. So having a batch of, or a dozen of cookies together. So anything cluster together. Um, if you have um, kitchen bowls, if you have craft supplies, if you have um, a set of two things or more, putting them all together in the first picture is really, really good because then people know, oh, okay, so all of this comes together in my package. So a group shot is a great way if you sell multiple items that come together. Number six is packaging shot. So if you run out of ideas, and you're like, I don't know how many other photos I could add. I've pretty much added everything I could think of. Adding a packaging shot is a really great way to showcase your branding, to showcase how your package will arrive, especially if they're buying it for a, a loved one as a gift. They'll have an idea. Oh, that's how they package it. It's beautiful. I love it. I have to get it. So Making sure that you showcase 
your packaging, if you have any thank you cards, if you put in a business card, taking a picture of that, that gives you another picture for your listing. So that's going to help you. So don't forget to do your packaging shot. And the last one is process shot. So a process shot is when you take a picture of yourself creating the product. Whether you do stickers like Moomi stickers here, this is a store um, that I use an example. Whether you create t-shirts, whether you knit, taking a picture of yourself while working on the actual product and putting that in the end of your listing with all your additional photos is a great way to showcase your, your store. It's a great way to showcase your story. You can use those photos as well for later for social media, for Instagram, for your about me section on Etsy. So having more photos is really important because then you could use all these photos to put them on Pinterest, to put them on social media, um, Instagram and alternate versus having the same photos over and over and over. So guys, this video, the main purpose of it, to sh it was to show you seven different ways that you could do XE product photography, especially if you're running out of ideas of what to upload in your XE store. So I hope that these seven tips will help you to get creative on your next XE listing. If you guys have any additional tips on product photography, things that you currently do that I didn't mention in this video, make sure that you leave a comment below. I'm trying to create a sense of community where we all come together, we help each other, we share ideas. So don't forget to leave a comment below with any tips that you currently have. So don't forget to like, share, and comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until the next video, have a wonderful day.